Hi, Gemini. <clears throat> so let's look into love for December. It's the end of the year. Things were a little tough for everybody this year. You guys, I kind of feel like you guys, um, like pulled yourselves through the ringer in a way. Let's get an Oracle card. Um, because I don't feel like it, it had to be so hard, you know, um, and it's like your twins fighting each other. Um, so we have for the overall energy for December is love. That's like the lover's card in the traditional tarot. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, you have love around you. There are people who would just adore you if you let them almost. I feel like you've kind of shut them out in a way. Um, and it could very well be because you have so many other things to do in your life. You have so many things on your mind. But where does that stop? And where does the love come in? Right? So we have the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. First three cards that came out are Major Arcanas. Gemini. I love you guys. I love you guys so much, but I feel like... You are almost sabotaging yourselves into a tower. And then we have the Three of Cups. So, like I said, I feel like you guys have very spiritual connections around you. You have people who love and adore you. And it's like you, all these major arcanas, hermit. It's like you're being a hermit. It's like, you know, you have that Gemini conversation with somebody, the one that cuts another person down to the bone. The one conversation that is like, oh shit, did I really say that? Maybe I should shut my mouth next time. I do it all the time. I'm not judging you. My kids do it to me all the time. But... You know, the nine, or the, I'm sorry, the seven of wands. Yeah, the seven of wands. I had to double check and make sure. Um, standing your ground, being defensive. No, this is how I'm really going to be. I'm really going to be that hermit, you know. But when we look at this, here, let me. I feel all discombobulated, you guys. I feel like, I, you know, I mean, you have all these wonderful things going on in your lives. I know you do. I see it. I see it. But I can't even, like, get shit straight. I can't get shit straight. Yeah. Let's look at this all together since I, like, totally threw everything. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Okay, so we have the Tower, we have Wheel of Fortune, we have Judgment, we have the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Hermit, Tower, Seven of Wands, right? Love. Wheel of Fortune, Judgment. This is the universe saying, will you just trust me already? Bottom of the deck over here is the Hierophant. This is either you trying to control a situation, you could have a Taurus in your life, or you're feeling controlled. I think this is you trying to control this situation when the universe is just like, you know what? You have luck coming. You're a very lucky person. You have people in your life who love you. And yet, you do not listen to me. You're trying to control all of it. And <clears throat> Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Magician for the love of God. I just pulled every other thing out. Like, I don't even... I just want you guys to see, you know? I mean, lovely people around you. 
getting your wishes come true, cut to come true. And then there's the heartbreak because you have that conversation and you're like, no, I'm standing my ground in what I said. And then later you realize, oh shit, I totally regret it. I walked away from something. Yeah, I was emotionally invested in it, but I like went on my little self journey and realized that I really didn't want to get, like I went on my self journey. I broke somebody's heart. I broke my own heart, went on my self journey and then came back and realized my tower had fucking fall, fallen. It fell. While I was gone, I got back. Everything fell. So now I have to manifest. I got to work this love back in. So we have this water sign here. Or this could be you just being extremely emotional about the fact that you know, you were like so busy on your self journey that you like didn't see the love right in front of your face. And so now you're emotional about it. Maybe you manipulated a situation. And I, again, I'm not judging. I'm actually in this position myself. I'm, I'm the same. I have been the same way. Life is funny like that when you're so focused on what, hi what you want to do in your life that you start to forget about those people around you that truly love you and almost want to help you in that journey. And we forget about it and we lose that about ourselves, about everybody else. So in December, I think the cards advice here, The universe is really saying to you, we have the seven of cups on the bottom here, by the way, all of your options available. The universe is saying, will you please stop controlling the situation? Will you please stop trying to control your life because I've got you. I'm taking care of this for you. You've been manifesting this great love, possibly manipulating situations to get it the magician and now I have it in front of you I almost like smacked smacked you in the face with it and here comes the ace of swords that conversation that brings the tower So, <clears throat> lots of major arcanas. It's time for you guys to recognize, Gemini, the love that you have that you don't have to walk away from necessarily, unless a water sign did hurt you. Um, but I'm feeling because this King of Cups came out with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. It's somebody that really, really cares. And I'm feeling that the Three of Swords, either you said something or they said something due to whatever situation is going on. And it was heartbreaking. It was totally heartbreaking. And it brought your tower down. Right? But you can reconcile it. The overall energy for December is love. Gemini. Love, 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 love. Lots of it. Um, so I hope that, that everybody in your life that you have around you um, will help you along in that. That's so, I have these little glittery things in my sweater. And they're just falling all over the table. That's funny. It's like a little party on the table. Um, it's a comfortable sweater, though. So follow the universe's advice. Because somebody's getting lucky this month for sure. Somebody's having a party. Somebody's getting lucky. Wishes, dreams. There's so many cups in the spread. So many major arcana, so many cups. There's a lot of love here. 
All right, guys. So the Instant Go app, please text me any questions and I will get back to you in the same day. Also, um, the donations that have come in, thank you so much for keeping the channel going. I really appreciate that. Both of those links are below if you'd like to Instant Go or um, donate to the channel. All of the video recorded reading readings are still on special for December. Um, gift certificates are available, so if you're not ready for a reading, but you'd like one after the first of the year, I'm honoring the reading specials for December just until the 31st, and then after that, um, the prices will go back up. And what else? I will be traveling next weekend to Pennsylvania. There are a couple emails that I've received from people in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, so I might find like a central location in that general area. I don't know, maybe around um, Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday next week, or not next week, the following week. So um, I will let everybody know, and um, thank you so far for 2017. This has been really awesome, and I love connecting with everybody. Um, so 2018 readings will be out by the end of next week. And actually, probably by Wednesday of next week, because I will be traveling on Thursday. Um, and if you'd like your 2018 forecast, um, I will be doing the entire year for the personal reading. So let me know if you'd like that. I will see you guys. Bye.